What's up, everybody? Moses here, and I just made barely level 82 with a character, and I thought it is worth uh, making this video and note the fastest character I've ever made, I think. Um, I think the music here might be a bit, a bit too loud. So yeah, uh, we are just 4%, 5% off of... Uh, level 82 and my play time is 9 hours and 30 minutes now I can tell you that I've been AFK roughly if I knew this is going to be the fastest character I've ever made then uh, I wouldn't be AFK and also I wouldn't be given explanations about how to craft and consume like 10 minutes of explanations because when when you level up a character to 82 in nine and a half hours <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes is kind of a lot, right? It would be a lot more impressive if it was uh, 8 hours and 43 minutes, right? Because roughly that's essentially what happened. 8 hours and 40 something minutes. So I wanted to kind of like uh, make this video uh, to share it because, you know, two and a half years of PoE, level 82 and let's say a little less than 9 hours is definitely remarkable. So I want to take note of that and go through the character and explain you what I did. So if you feel like making really fa uh, fast characters, um, you could do it yourselves as well. What is this? This is no good, no good, no good. Wait. Could have been good if we had 30 movement speed here. Could have been incredible. Uh, no and no. So this is a Caswell channeling character. When it comes to leveling, I wasn't really even trying to be quick, alright? Uh, I was running with a tabula, just regular leveling item, nothing special. I killed Kitava in like 6 hours and 20 minutes or something. And ever since, okay, that's, you know, not particularly fast. But ever since, all I've been doing was basically three things. I had... Um, a bunch of Maelstrom of Chaos, which is a tier 6 map, I had uh, 13 of those. So, first thing I did when I first uh, finished maps, I didn't even look at my gear, just made sure that I have my resistances. After you kill Kitava, you drop resistances, so I just fixed my resistances. Uh, my character was level 62, and I ran uh, all my Maelstrom of Chaos. And then I reached, I think it was 60-something, I was able to equip Impulses. Uh, and then I had three Coward's Trial. This uh, map was revamped, and it's actually pretty packed now. And I'm not sure the area level. I think it's like area level eight. Uh, Coward's Trial. It's actually lower. But the XP here was really good, so it's a tier 4 map, I only had 3, and I did that after Maelstrom of Chaos, which is area level, uh, monster level uh, tier 6, right, it's a tier 6 map, um, this is a tier 4 map, and I had a whole bunch of those, because in the past couple of weeks I've been playing the Ice Crash, and been farming and grinding a whole lot, um, because I grind a lot and I play a lot, I had a whole lot of these maps in Solo Cell found, right, so... I did those, reach around level 68, 70. When I reached 70, uh, I equipped my staff, which I crafted. That's the Caswell Channeling staff that we crafted yesterday. I equipped this uh, amulet, and then I had damage. With Impulsa, this amulet, and this staff, I started to have damage. So at that point, I had a uh, frick ton of breach stones. I think I had five or six breach stones of Tal, and seven or eight or six breach stone of Esh. I didn't do my Zoth breach stones simply because I want to empower those with. Uh, I want to keep them because you never know when breaches will happen. You don't have them in the map device, and I am playing Soul Soul Found. So whenever Syndicate, um, uh, it that fled reaches rank three in research, you can then make it empower breach stones. So that's what I had. And then I reached level 80, uh, just 80.9, right? Um, and then I had last two breach stones that are uh, charged. So regular breach stones are area level 70, 
but I had two charged breach stones that are area level 74. Right, in this area level 74, you get 100% increased experience gain. Normally, these are the empowered breach stones, right? Uh, the pure breach stones are area level 80. If it's a Zoff, so it would be a lot uh, tougher for a low level character like mine. So, and I don't have those. I played those with a different character, so I've consumed those. But these charged breach stones are incredible for leveling. Um, and uh, yeah. I did all that and uh, 9 hours and 30 minutes for level uh, 92, but it's proper, probably something like um, 8 hours and 40, 8 hours, 35, if I, if I really kind of, I'm not, I always chill, you know, I don't try to make fast characters and all that kind of stuff, uh, but um, it just turned out to be this way and I thought I would share that with you. So this is the character. Um, Divine Iron Glacial Cascade, I ran with the Tabula, and then only at level 70, uh, happened a couple of hours ago, I was able to equip this insane staff, and that's when all the damage happened. So yeah, uh, there's going to be a build guide for this character, don't worry about it, we'll make it, uh, and you are welcome to check out the stream, because we're going to be playing it in the next uh, days, trying to farm the Spark and Flame in uh, the Atoll Elder... Um, over here in the Soul Cell Fun journey for our, you know, glorious uh, build uh, later. That's the plan. But for now, I just wanted to share with you this build and uh, the fact that it just, you know, sprinted all the way to level 80, just about 82 in, uh, well, less than nine hours. So pretty incredible, at least for me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I uh, hope to see you guys on stream. Bye-bye.